The Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver says home prices last month rose from June amid strong sales and low levels of housing inventory. Will that trend continue? Let's bring in Steve Soreski, a Vancouver realtor at Oakwin Realty. Steve, always great to talk to you. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me on. What's the general thrust in one of the world's hottest real estate markets, one of the world's highest priced? Um, are prices on the, uh, steadily increasing? Yeah, it's uh, pretty confusing to say the least. You know, you look at the headline sales up 28% year over year, new listings up 17%. So, you know, what do you make of all this? And, and I think ultimately when you kind of cut through all the noise, um, the big story here is inventory. Uh, inventory as of right now, at the end of July, at the lowest levels in 20 years. Uh, and so this is ultimately supporting home prices. And, and this is, you know, what we've seen this year so far uh, has been a resurgence in home prices because at the end of the day, there's still people that need to move and they're having to compete over, you know, for the most part, 20 year lows in inventory. And uh, this is why we're seeing, you know, multiple offers. I would say we're starting to see things fizzle out. Uh, as you'd expect with the Bank of Canada back on the gas pedal. Um, but make no mistake, I mean, it's been surprisingly resilient despite mortgage rates uh, with a six handle in front of it. That's interesting. So we did, of course, once the Bank of Canada said, oh, we're halting the interest rate increases, we got a jump this spring. Now they're back to raising interest rates. But was there a bit of a kind of a delayed rally there in Vancouver? Yeah, I think when they when they have paused, I think there was definitely a bit of a rally there. I mean, the one thing you know, the Bank of Canada has been talking about, you know, though the resiliency in the housing market, resiliency in the housing market, like I'd still say this is this is not a great housing market. I mean, sales are well below historical averages, new listings are well below historical averages. So in general, you have pretty muted activity, um, but at the end of the day. Yeah, prices have been holding up and in fact have been creeping higher this year after declining at the back half of last year. And it's strictly just an inventory uh, story. Uh, like I said, 20 year lows. And I think that I would actually argue that what we're seeing uh, is I actually think there's a lot of people that are quite frankly stuck in their houses. Uh, people that, you know, maybe they want to upsize, maybe they want to relocate, get a different property. But, you know, the fact of borrowing rates at 6% and having to get stress tested at 8 um, mm. People are just saying no, thank you, and they're just sort of sitting put in their houses. There's just there's just not a lot of activity in general. So your average price for all residential properties benchmark in Metro Vancouver is 1.2 million, but I'm guessing, of course, detached houses far more expensive. Yeah, correct. I mean, the, and the house prices, you know, again, you run the numbers on, uh, you know, these these level of prices with a six percent mortgage rate. Uh, I would say it's I think up, it's right on par with the 1980s in terms of the least affordability uh, or the worst affordability, whatever terminology you want to use. So uh, the numbers are really tough for a lot of people to digest. So, again, if you're upsizing, let's say you've got a, a fixed rate mortgage that you're bringing over to your new property, but you need to take a slightly larger mortgage. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you're going to blend that with a six percent mortgage. So a lot of people are just opting to stay put. And I think like low inventory seems to sort of exacerbate lower inventory because again, if you want to sell, well, you got to typically got to go somewhere, right? So yeah. you're not going to put your property on the market if you don't feel like you can adequately buy something either. And so I just think it's this kind of weird standoff in the housing market um, where we're just we're just not getting enough activity to really see uh, prices, which I think should be, should be going lower with a six percent mortgage rate. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, detached homes just over two million in the great in the Metro Vancouver um, area. Do you get the feeling that there are a lot of um, speculators or investors who bought a bunch of units, maybe condo units, to rent them out, and are now hurting because their variable mortgage rate went up so much? Yeah, I think like if we're going to see stress in the market, I think we will see it in the condo market first. If you think about investors, you know, where they're most active, it's obviously in you know, pre-sales, new construction, condo type of inventory. So you're not seeing, you know, a lot of investors buying up, you know, 45-year-old single-family houses at $2.2 million. And so, um, you know, we're, I think that's where we're going to see it. I, I will, you know, I think it's pretty well known that these fixed payment variable rate mortgages, which is basically people's amortizations ballooning out, I think it's keeping a lot of investors from actually being forced sellers. Uh, so I think the banks are, are definitely... I would say in on this in terms of withholding inventory that otherwise I think should be coming to market. 
And what about Airbnb? I just want to, is that a big factor in Vancouver? It's a pretty popular uh, tourist city. Is there tension over places being bought to you, be used as Airbnb? I feel that the market here is fairly, you know, well regulated. I, I definitely, you know, we know that people are skirting the rules. I wouldn't say it's as prevalent. I don't think it's a result of, you know, the inventory shortage that we're seeing. I don't think it's being driven by Airbnb units. Uh, we certainly know it's, uh, you know, there's some investors that are doing it, but mm -hmm. I still think it's relatively small in the grand scheme of things. I'm just looking, um, sorry, I beg your pardon, Steve. Yeah. I'm just looking at a story in the Vancouver Sun because apparently some listings are adding that, oh, we have mortgage helpers, be it a basement apartment or a laneway house, that people, they suggest, would use, they'd buy the main house, but they'd rent these things out as short-term rentals. Yeah, I think so. I mean, particularly now, right, if you're on a variable rate mortgage, you're looking for a little bit additional, you know, revenue coming in the door. I, I think that uh, people are having to get maybe a little bit more creative uh, and, you know, renting out basement suites or laneway homes uh, on Airbnb to, to sort of subsidize their rising costs. Leave us with, with a final thought. Um, are, is there political heat to bring down housing costs in Vancouver or, or have people just got used to it now? I know, I mean, obviously the province brought in quite a while ago rules on offshore purchasers, but are the politicians facing pressure to bring down rental rates, for example? Yeah, I think there's a ton of uh, social pressure, social, I, I think social cohesion, uh, you know, housing continues to be, I think, front and center in terms of what people talk about, affordability. You know, you look at, uh, you know, again, 6% mortgage rates. I think the, the wide set belief is that prices will come down. Again, they haven't yet, so that's made affordability even worse. You're seeing, obviously, people that no longer qualify to buy real estate now ending up in the rental market. You mm -hmm. combine that with you know, a million plus people coming to the country that's putting additional strains on the rental market. So I just think, uh, you know, with with really high inflation that we've had over the past 18 months, combined with uh, ongoing, uh, I would call it a, a very real housing crisis, um, there's a lot of upset people uh, in this country. I think we're obviously seeing that in the politics as well. 